I'm Paul Peterson, and we're about to catch something big here at Top Cats. With more than 30 species of fish at the picturesque Top Cats in Koh Samui, American Paul Peterson spends time doing what he loves off the course. I fish with my buddies every time I'm back home in Oregon. We always go, you know, coastal river fishing, trout fishing, steelhead fishing, so uh, I would say probably four or five times a year. Shot. It's not a fly rod, so it uh, feels a little bit different not having a fly, uh, fly rod in my hands, but um, yeah, let's give it a shot. I play golf left-handed, but I pretty much do everything else right-handed, uh, including fishing, riding, um, everything else. So uh, let's give this one a, a go. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. This isn't quite like uh, coastal river fishing back in the Pacific Northwest. The thing I like most about fishing is probably the fact that I get to be out away from everything for a while. There's a lot of people that romanticize about our profession and the fact that we get to play golf every day. But I think if you ask any of the guys on tour, you go through these seven, eight, ten week stretches and it is a job. So there's kind of that therapeutic sense that, that fishing brings to me that I think golf brings to, to a lot of other people. In his second year on the Asian Tour, Paul is one of the most consistent players. Currently, he's in the top 10 in six different categories, including driving accuracy. I think the, the biggest strength of my game is my driving and, and keeping the ball in play. Being able to be in the fairway and, and give myself birdie opportunities has been huge for my success. I'm really good with low and running but I'm not as good with the high and soft and spinning. I feel like my coaches and I have done a really good job um, in the off season working on you know, some slight swing changes and not missing any of my iron shots um, as wide as I did last year. Finishing fourth five times in his rookie season, the lefty has his eyes set on more than just a top 10 finish. Many goals that I want to accomplish this year. A win would be huge for me this year. It would be kind of icing on the cake for, for the work that I put in. Just keep racking up the top tens and top fives. I think if I keep putting myself in contention, there will be the, the weekend where everything seems to kind of fall into place and, and I, can, I can pull through. As Paul continues to strengthen his game, he can see that fishing and golf have a few things in common. I think they both require uh, a lot of patience. Um, you don't see too many guys getting impatient and, and being successful golfers, and I, I don't think that uh, you see very many successful fishermen who aren't willing to, to wait. Looks like it's big. Uh, the biggest fish I've ever caught is probably steelhead in Oregon on the Deschutes River was probably 30 inches, so nothing compared to what this thing's going to be. And there he goes. <laughs> Uh, that was amazing. I've never felt something so strong underneath my hands before. That was that was incredible. Um, very very slimy, but uh, really cool to have have something that big in your hands. That was awesome. I just caught a Mekong catfish. It was about 120 pounds. Beats my best by probably 110 pounds. So um, couldn't be more excited. Patience, like always, seems to pay off. Playing golf since he was three, Peterson still has a love for the game. I loved the game as a kid, but I think I love the game of golf even more now. I'm looking forward to, you know, moving forward with the game until my ultimate goals of playing on the PGA Tour um, have been reached. And, you know, for 
successful people, I think that you, you have to put in the time at some point. This is what I'm focused on right now, and um, I don't have any regrets that, that this is my, my main focus in life.